Hey folks, we are up here in Buellton, California today with Tyler Gildred of Gildred Racing and his Super Coopers. What's up, brother? Hi. How do you do? How do you do? Well, I'm, I'm going to interview you from back here, okay? And Sounds you're going to tell us about the Super Cooper because you make Super Coopers, plural, mm -hmm. but this is the superest of Coopers. The superest, the super duper of the Supers, yeah. Okay, so what yes. am I going to go drive today, Tyler? You're going to be driving our flagship model, the 500 plus wheel horsepower Super Cooper Type S. It's okay, it's a 500 horsepower <laughs> classic It's a mini. monster. It's so what's the basic car? Okay, well, it's, you start off with a 1974 uh, Austin Cooper. And uh, in this case, it was, you know, you tear it all apart. Pretty much anything that was originally mini, except for the metal, we, we get rid of and we start over. Okay. And. What you can see here, originally, it would have had the motor up here in the front. <laughs> it does not anymore. What's up here now? Yeah, your fuel cell, custom air conditioning system, runs an electronic AC system. Oh, that, that, that powder coat black is aircon? Yeah, that's the... Oh, neat. That's how we fit it in there. Oh, that okay. way we kept the dash uh, looking sexy without having all the AC, like a bill box in the way, so we kind of had it... Uh, Frenched into the front. All right. Well, show me the goods then. If there's no engine up here. All right. Well, the one thing you give up is the the seat in the back, uh, which basically a two foot person would have a hard time fitting anyway. So we kind of figure, why not throw a huge engine in there? There's a couple of engines that we offer, but this is the biggest, the baddest. This is the. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what what are we looking at? I mean, I can see a muffler and I can see some heat wrap and that's about it. So what's behind all this? Well, this is an Acura J-Series V6. It's with, a 3.56. It's, a, a, it's the J32 with the 3.5 liter mods to it. Basically and, a stroker crank? Yeah, well, we use components of the 3.5 to get a little bit more displacement. But the J32 Type S motor is the performance engine. That was a 260 horsepower, yeah. 3.26 from yep. the factory. The CL Type S was actually kind it's of a, a rad little car. car. Yeah. Kind of a rad little car. So, so how do you get all that back here? Magic. Uh, we, we, uh, what we do is we. There's a subframe with a cage that gets installed into the car, mm -hmm. and what happens is is that the engine and transmission right out of the Acura, which is a, in the front transverse engine, it gets placed in the back. So it's kind of a, a little bit of wizardry, but... Uh, Basically, you've vectored an Oldsmobile Toronado here, yeah, right? Remember yeah, that? The, yeah, vector, the I actual do. vector had an Oldsmobile Toronado powertrain in the front. In I, the act, I randomly have some vector parts. <laughs> so that, that, that is... It's modeled on it. That's, and so you build this, basically, this entire uh, uh, engine compartment back yeah. here, for lack of a, of a better term. Pop me, that door for me. me so you here. can actually see there's a, there's a firewall in between these vintage Recaro seats. Which I love the baskets. The basket weave headrest is perfect. I love those. It's they're the best, right? You know, I like the the uh, oh, here we LM uh, Recaros are some of my favorites. They're kind of era correct to the car. Right. So you've got ECUs. Yeah. On the firewall. We here. put these in when we we're trying to break the sound barrier. <laughs> and uh, this is running AM. It's 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 got a lot of uh, performance mods to it that. Flip yeah. that seat. And on so your dash. six speed gearbox from the TL. Six speed. Or CL. CL, yeah. Wow, look at that. That linkage is very cool. Yeah, that's rad. Did you make that? Or no, that there's a company. Is it? Is it K Tune? Is it? I think believe the company that makes oh, it. Oh, K Tune it. makes yeah, that? Yeah, they made oh, that one. I know K Tune. That's great. Yeah. And we love this thing. We were, we would have made our own, but they did such a good job. Why? why? No, <laughs> why? You're not. I mean, it yeah. would take a lot of money and resources to yeah. beat that. And then look, power windows. We got power windows. We got AC in your seat because I air, air conditioning. I just I like a cool ass. I just do. And, How do you and, not? Yeah, it's and just, you have heat and air con in the car as well, right? Everything. Yeah. You mentioned to me before that you're a little ashamed of the weight of this vehicle. <sighs> she's she's a little tubby. Um, I wanted it more of a, like a touring car initially. I, I like Aston Martins, and I I like how the fit and finish is. I like all of the the refinement. So what we tried to do is instead of making it a race car, it kind of sits in between, and is adding that extra couple hundred pounds. It, it makes it not as much of a crazy race car, but it's something you can drive every day. Right. So you know, normally this thing would obviously front engine, front powertrain. 
We now have a much bigger engine, mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's in the back. How does that affect the handling of the car? Well, it, the, have you built a drag car? Is that what's happened here? Well, we kind of it turned into a bit more of a drag car with that much weight over the rear tires. It really gives it a, a lot of ability to get traction. This thing does not like to burn out. It just goes. Whoa! Oh my God! So, one thing that's different when you have the 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 power right over the rear tires and that much torque is it it can really just grip and propel you like a missile. Any of the other, like the front engine ones are limited to a certain amount of power and then it just gets squirrely. You know, like four wheel drive is a neat uh, addition as That's well. We'll, we'll the next one we'll see about, we'll about that. And it, it's a whole nother story. But, but when no, it comes to sheer- more about, more about, okay, so obviously it's gonna get grip off the line. You've yeah. got these fat, meaty Toyo triple eights in the yep. back. You've got the engine in the back. Mm -hmm. it's, it's now set up to run a nice straight line. Yes. What happens when you dive into a corner? <sighs> Do not throw, uh, don't, no, don't sit, okay, <laughs> don't. do not sit on the throttle, don't. okay, that's all, okay, it, you, you let off the throttle on the corners, um, like any car, but this, it has so much rear power, it's like an older 911 in, in some ways, uh -huh. like a Jimbala or something, yeah, you have yeah, to kind of yeah. think of that, the weight, we put more weight on the front to try and even it out, so it's got a heavy plate on the bottom, oh it does, yeah. it actually has ballast, that's kind of part of the, the reasons we put that AC system in, it's a heavy ass AC, but it gives it a couple more pounds yeah, up front. Yeah. On a, as far as a track car, it's it's more of your Dodge Demon, but it does uh, handle pretty well. We worked with QA1 uh, with this four, all around, it's got four way coilovers. And they have some badass ones that we've been using that you can adjust everything. So it, right now when you drive it, it's set up for cruising and having fun and r driving on the road. It's not set up for racing. So you can set it up to even be better and, and handling, but then you're gonna be you need a mouthpiece. Awesome. Well, yeah. I think uh, I think it's time we go up in the hills and we have a go. Oh yeah. I am ready. I want you to literally beat the shit out of this car. Do jump it, flip it, spin it, whatever you can. Get some good footage. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. That's, Thank you, Tyler. I, We're gonna go have fun. Do it. Thank you for the run. All right. We're uh, back at Gildred Racing today up in Buellton, California. Tyler Gildred. Hello, sir. Hi there. And uh, this is going to be another little technical look at one of Tyler and his team's Super Coopers. Uh, yep. We looked at the other one. Have a look at that video. I'm going to narrate from behind camera. Sure. Uh, the 500 horsepower Psycho Death Machine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this blue car, Tyler, is interesting in a completely different yep. way. Please tell us why. Well, this is an all-wheel drive, B20. So, so you, that's a Honda engine. A Honda engine. Mm -hmm. with this is a CRV drivetrain in it, and uh, it gives it all-wheel drive, so you got more traction. Kind of a, a very unique thing, so especially if you have a ton of power, keeping them on the ground. That's putting it to the road. That's something that's always a problem with these minis. That's why people like the four-wheel drive. I mean, is this? This is not the first time I've ever heard of a four-wheel drive Mini. I famously on the podcast tell a story about getting smoked by a four-wheel drive Mini on the Nürburgring in the wet, yep. being driven by a total madman. And this is a similar setup. So mm -hmm. with a Honda CRV all-wheel drive system, that's, that's a crossover. That's not a sports car. What happens when you take that powertrain and try to make it into a sports car powertrain? Well, you get, the end result is, a tiny little car with some crazy off-roading capabilities. <laughs> so this thing, like if you were gonna build yourself a rally car, yeah, like do what's like up a, with the like safari micro, builds, like that's, dude? Yeah, that that's would be, what's up next, That's I what think. this needs, you know, you put a rack on top, you know, all the lights, mm. paint this sucker red. Dude, I think you have your next build. Oh, uh, yeah. I've been now, wanting to do one for a while. Okay, so you can't, you obviously can't just, just shove a CRV powertrain underneath a standard late 60s mini. So how does this process work? Well, it starts off with uh, obviously your shell. You start with your mini, rip everything out. Anything that says mini on it, throw it away. And uh, sorry, don't throw it away. Just it's give not it to that the mini it's garbage, yeah, it's yeah. just that it's useless. We just don't use it anymore. Cause <laughs> it's like a resto mod. You, you, you keep the mandatory parts and then you find the best shit you can and you put it in there. Right. Um, in this case, it is a, C a B CRV Mazda rear axle. It, it's a Frankenstein to make this work. Okay. So what you're left over with is, is a basically a well overpowered, really light little car, a lot of traction. 
This one here has air conditioning. It's got the Recaro cooled seats in it. It's got all the cool shit you want on it. It's it's a just a fun little car to drive. Now, one of your guys mentioned that to make this work, you hey, actually get rid of that light. Yeah, the LED lights. Is yeah, there, there's some customization in this car that well, I, I think it was a little rough. One of your guys said one of the things you have to do is actually it's a front subframe that extends yeah. the nose of the mini by about three inches. Yes. So it's a little less stubby. You get a right here is where it's channeled. This is actually a composite front flip, mm -hmm. and the whole thing kind of comes up. And uh, there is a way to do it without extending it, but you have to mess with the firewall. A lot more fabrication goes involved. And then do you lose leg room as well? Yeah. 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 yeah so, that's so show me inside this thing. I like it because you've got you like Recaros, and this oh, has yeah. the same Recaros that I had in my Audi S4. Yeah. Back in the day. These are nice seats. This is a new seat off the shelf you can buy today. You don't have to go custom like we did with the other car. Mm. So I recognize the Honda shifter. So we kept the Honda yeah. shift knob there. There's some uh, really there's, interesting steering column. Yeah, the there, there's a little bit of uh, weirdness going on in this that I would definitely change if we were going to put our badge on this. Oh, you mentioned before that you're you're servicing this car and you do build all-wheel drive minis, yes. but you didn't yes. build this specific one. Not this one. specific one. But um, would you, other than some attention to details, is this representative of a product that you would build? Forget the LED absolutely. lights and yeah, stuff. Yeah, we've done these before and uh, it, you know, it, the all wheel drive is, it, it's, it's a more, a lot more time goes into it a lot more fabrication and uh, it's a lot more money. So, so this has a B20 Honda engine that yep. you said has been lightly modified, but it's yeah. not forced induction. It's been built. Can we see? The Let's it's see. It's been built. It has been built and uh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. it's uh -oh. got cams in it. It's got, so both sides. Oh, have to come. I, do I have to lift? Yeah, it goes oh forward. It, what is that? What happens? Oh, it goes forward and then tilts up. Yeah, I oh, don't that, know. If you don't know how that works, yeah, that some be guy, very nerve-wracking. I think some guy went over to Lamborghini and he's like, I wish, <laughs> it, what's the worst way to make a hood? And, and they hired the guy and made this. <laughs> yeah. Who designed the Aventador soft top? <laughs> that or the Mercy soft top? The Look buffoon who did this. Okay. So we've got a completely new front subframe under here. Yeah, right? Minitech is a company we partnered with years ago and they fabricate a lot of our frames for us. They make them out of chromoly and... Three, it's okay. Shut yeah. that delivery yeah, truck yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop it a bit. And when it hits VTEC... On power! Oh, it's dirty on the power, huh? Real dirty on power. So, in this case, you can see this is one of their frames. And uh, the... You got your... Your B-Series Honda here, which is nice, easy head right there. Yeah, yeah, it's... it's uh, it makes it easy. When you do the flip front, life is so much easier. Mm. You get a little more room in it, but when we keep the original front metal, it is tolerances are like that. Very tight. And yeah, there's another one in there that has that, and it's very tight. Yeah. So once this goes in like this, is it? Do they work? Oh, they work. They yeah. work. Yeah. The I love the Acuras. They're they're legendary in their reliability and their performance capacity. This thing can make easily make 500 horsepower. Where physically would the road tracks go if you were going to put a road tracks on that? Where do you have room for that? Because yeah. you said like, you're like, this blue car is dope, but there's no forced induction. That's well, what once, really once you means. get used to it, like if you drive the Super Cooper around like I have, and I'm used to it, I dump the clutch in that all the time. I've just beat the crap out of it. I'm now used to a 500 horsepower <laughs> me. So when I drive this, yeah. Economies of scale. I kind of, I mean, anyone who drives this is going to be kind of scared by how fast it already is. Uh, now, carry, carry bro. speed in the corner. Bro. Bro. <laughs> but I'm used to it. So, whoever wants this, who wants to spank cars, she needs a little bit more juice. So, is this about 200 horsepower? She's right at a little over 200 horsepower. Okay. Um, it's cool though. I mean, it's really it's it's wide, yep. fat fender flares. Yep, wheel woods all around. You know, you have your four piston brakes. So she stops. It's got all the you know. Do these have power steering? You can, but we don't recommend it. Uh -huh. it it's it's such a light oh, car. So. You can two finger turn and oh. you know. It, and is the all wheel drive system is a full time all wheel drive? It is. Okay. It is. Not it, no, can you. Can you do anything to it in terms of how it delivers power? I mean, even if it's just to set it once and leave it there forever? Well, there's not much modification to it. It's There are some settings that you can adjust, um, but really, really you get what you get. And okay. you, as long as you're set up properly with the right gear ratios, 
it'll be okay. Do you, is it a final drive ratio that you set? We upgrade the final drives. We have a custom one we have built for the cars. Um, if they're gonna run tens, they have to have a special tall gear ratio, uh -huh. or it, literally it's like driving a tricycle on the freeway. It, they, they just, <laughs> they suck. But this one will go, this one's set up pretty well. It's like a 3.4 final. And on the freeway, you'll be able to cruise it at, you know, 75. Oh yeah? Yep. Cool. Yep. All right, thanks, Tyler. I think Zach and I are gonna go have a go in this mini right now. Yeah. We'll let you know what we think Good. in a different video. Whatever it is you wanna do, just have fun. You know, find a nice muddy track and just bomb it. You know? Thank you, sir. Yeah. I think we have the inspiration for a safari build next. Yeah. Oh, that, we're doing it. I'll make a track for it. Yes! <laughs>